So this video is about a purchase at a uh, cooking store that was in a Tanger outlet mall. The Subway at this one I went to, while I love the food at Subway restaurants, except for the fact that they got rid of carrots, I wish they still had. I loved carrots on my sandwiches. Carrot strips. Uh, except for the fact that I'm a, a fan of Subway. The Subway there was kind of disgusting. Uh, they had a snot-nosed child. <laughs> running around through the kitchen, touching everything, and when I said, uh, should that child really be back in the kitchen? Their response was, that's the manager's son. Like, there was something wrong with me for mentioning that, and I'm like, oh, okay, so he's trained in um, food safety practices then, and has been signed off as okay, and uh, a food inspector wouldn't complain. Then the guy looked panicked and ran back there and said something, and shortly, like, two minutes later, the manager and his kid did finally leave, although the kid had more time to run around and put his hands all over everyone's food that would be going out to the front, and no one would know. Yes, I understand, a child is important to someone, and such, but there are certain things, like a place where you have to wear beard nets, gloves, and hats. Letting a child run around putting his hand all over everything unwashed? You're gonna get people sick. Anyway, that aside, that, that was the only really disturbing moment about that trip. Otherwise, it was a very pleasant trip, and my sandwich was really good. Unfortunately, um, I don't know if the child had messed with any of the stuff that ended up on my Subway sandwich. I certainly hope not. I didn't end up ill, so probably not. Anyway, uh, at one of the cooking stores that normally has a lot of Asian seasonings and panko uh, breadcrumbs and things like that, which I was, I was hoping to restock on, they were down to one sauce that was wasabi ginger uh, in this teapot I got. It's cast iron. It's been coated. Um, they, they put a strange coating on it, which helps prevent rust. And then if you read the instruction manuals on these things, uh, a really good one, or research them, they say that rust makes the tea taste better. So there's a whole thing about what to do if they start to rust and how not to just get rid of the rust, which I thought was odd. <laughs> I, I like tea, though. Uh, I've always been a big fan of tea, even as a child. And so I got the little 20 ounce. Um, it's got a little strainer there. Drop the lid. There we go. And that's so that uh, you don't get chunks of leaf in your tea. And yeah, it's like you see in the uh, <laughs> feudal period movies. Uh, about Japan. I need to get a little stand for it with a tea, tea candle, tea light candle, whatever those are called, so that when I'm done cooking, if I want to keep it warm and having used up all the water, I can set that on top of that. Really nice. Uh, the problem I've run into now is I can't find tea leaves anywhere. Everywhere is the bags or ground stuff. And I did not have this problem before I bought this teapot. I really need to find some green tea leaves. I, I can't believe that my purchase of this teapot suddenly, somehow, on some cosmic level, caused a shortage of tea leaves. Anyway, it's, it's a wonderful little teapot. Quite some weight to it. Um, you could knock out someone with this. This is crazy. It's like, it's like holding a rock the same size, so it's, it's good and sturdy. And this handle is... is stiff enough that it's not going to flop over on me when I go to pour, but still I've noticed they take like a uh, cloth of some sort and place over here and pour like this to hold the lid on when I've watched the movies. Uh, not about to learn tea ceremony at this point. I just want to enjoy some tea. Perhaps sometime in the future I'll, when things are more relaxed, less hectic, I'll learn tea ceremony. Anyway, if anyone knows uh, how to get a hold of some green tea leaves, at a decent price, please let me know. And leave plenty of comments. 
ideas, if you have questions about this or the care of it. Who knows, I may add something to the description or do a follow-up video. Thank you for viewing.